You are turning in 10 minutes of BBTV News, brought to you by Bình Phước Television Station and newspaper. And when you with the latest news for today. Outstanding credit estimated at 117,600 billion Vietnamese dong as the end of April. Manufacturing and processing list growth contribution. Party chef urges moderated, effective fights against corruption. Labor market to recruit 150,000 new jobs in the second quarter. Credit institutions have cut the deposit interest rates by 1 to 1.2% on average, while general lending interest rates are down 0.5 to 0.65%. As stay on banks, deposit interest rates are down by 1 to 1.5% and lending rates 1.5% to 2%. According to the State Bank of Vietnam, or SBV, branch in Minh Phu province, total capital mobilized in the locality was estimated at 51,000 billion Vietnam Nam Dong as of the end of April. Deposits in Vietnam Nam Dong accounted for 98.82 percent, and foreign currencies 1.18 percent. Savings accounts accounted for 59.51 percent, and payment deposits 38.92 percent while the issuance of valuable papers accounted for 1.57%. Outstanding credit was estimated at 117,600 billion Vietnam Nam Dong as of the end of April, up 9.77% compared to the end of 2022. Of the total, short-term loans accounted for 74.74% and medium and long-term loans 25.26%. Loans in Vietnam Dong accounted for 92.92 percent and foreign currencies 7.08 percent. The SBV has implemented a policy of lowering lending interest rates since the beginning of the year through twice reducing operating interest rates. The two reductions in just a short period of time not only sent a message but also gave directions to commercial banks in terms of lowering both deposit and lending rates. According to the Bình Phước Statistic Office, the index of industrial production was estimated to have increased by 6.02% over the same period last year, in which the manufacturing and processing sector led the way. The province attracted 11 projects with total capital of over 2,731 billion Vietnam Nam Dong in the first four months, reaching 22.76% of the annual plan. It also received nine new foreign invested projects with capital of 41.491 million US dollars. There were 316 newly registered enterprises in the province during the period, reaching 30% of the annual plan, with capital of Vietnam Dong of over 4,215 billion Vietnam Dong, or 24.09% of the plan. Total state budget revenue in the first four months was estimated at 3,850 billion Vietnam Dong, equal to 23.87% of the estimate assigned by the Provincial People's Council. The Women's Union of Bình Phước Province, in cooperation with Dak A Secondary School in Dak A Kamil, Buyamab District, recently launched the Leaders of Chain Club. The club has 30 members, aged 12 to 15, who are students in grade 6 to 9, who voluntarily joined the club with consents from their parents or guardians. The purpose of the club is to equip children and young people with knowledge and skills related to gender equality and child protection. It is expected to create positive changes in attitudes, awareness and behavior, contributing to preventing and responding to violence and child abuse, especially child sexual abuse reproductive health problems, and child marriage. Children and young people are also given the opportunity to experience and promote their strengths and participate in club activities at school and in the locality. In particular, a supportive network will be created for young people to pioneer the building of a safe and non-violent community. A ceremony was held recently at the Tung Ting Secondary School in the Phu District to hand over a work built by the district youth union to the school. The work is the model of a landmark, Hoang Sa Jung Sa, Barosel's Brackley. The work, 2.5 meters long and 1.2 meters wide, was built on the grounds of the Tung Ting Secondary School at a total cost of more than 35 million Vietnam Dong. 
The landmark model is meaningful and practical, helping ignite a love of the homelands, seas and islands among local students. It will also be a meaningful place to hold experiential and educational activities. At the ceremony, the Youth Union and the Education and Training Office of Dongfu District awarded certificates and commanded four teams and 14 individuals who won the title of Hero of a Thousand Good Deeds at all levels. Moving on to the top stories around the country, Party General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trọng on May 10 chaired a meeting of the Standing Board of the Central Steering Committee on Prevention and Control of Corruption and Negative Performance. During the meeting of the Standing Board in Hanoi on May 10, Party General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trọng urged raising public awareness of the effort to prevent incitement and internal division while combating division in political ideology, moral virtues, and lifestyle, which he said could be more harmful. The Standing Board with the Central Steering Committee on Prevention and Control of Corruption and Negative Phenomena was aside to immediately remedy the behaviors of procrastination, evasion, and hesitation in work among a part of officials and party members, especially leaders at all levels. The party leader said it is a negative sign that causes adverse effects and slows down national socio-economic development so that it is necessary to fix them as soon as possible. Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính is leading a high-ranking delegation to attend the 42nd Asian Summit in Indonesia, following as some of his activities on May 10. Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính highlighted three core factors to ASEAN's characteristics, values, vitality, and reputation, which are maintaining independence and self-reliance, turning itself into a growth epicenter, and better adapting to external shocks. He made the remarks, at the opening session of the 42nd ASEAN Summit in Labuan Bajo, Indonesia, on May 10th morning. The Vietnamese leader emphasized that strengthening solidarity and unity should be the key task for an independent, self-resilient ASEAN. Given risks and uncertainties of the global economy, the PM stressed the urgent need for the 10-member grouping to expand the intra-market in order to promote recovery and sustainable development. He also suggested ASEAN step up cooperation in digital economy, digital government, and circular economy, in tandem with electricity connectivity and renewable energy development. He said, with the spirit of taking people as the growth center, target, and momentum in ASEAN community building, the bloc should work to narrow its development gap, especially in remote areas and sub-regions. About 150,000 new jobs will be created in the second quarter of this year, the Ministry of Labor, Invalids and Social Affairs predicted. The new jobs include some 28,000 in electronics and optical device manufacturing, over 18,000 in food processing and 4,700 in beverage production, the Ministry said. However, the ministry also pointed out that the labor market is facing numerous challenges in the second quarter, which will lead to the loss of some 38,000 shops in the garment industry, and the same in the furniture production. Data from the General Statistics Office showed that nearly 294,000 workers suffered from layoffs or pullouts due to businesses' strategies of orders in quarter one. Expert health that it is necessary to take actions in response to the order decline facing many companies in such major industrial hubs as Dong Nai, Bing Zoom, Bắc Ninh, and Bắc Giang. With the team Bring Da Nang to Asia and Bring Asia to Da Nang, the first Da Nang Asian Film Festival opened on May 9 at Chung Vung Theater in Da Nang City. The festival is helped to make the central coastal city become a bridge connecting Vietnam with international cinema. The focus of the opening ceremony was the introduction of the culture and hospitality of people in Da Nang and the characteristics of Asian cinema. It also featured the spirit of Vietnamese integration and promoted the image of a dynamic Vietnam. This first festival brings together many international stars, film experts and famous local filmmakers and artists. 26 Vietnamese films and 10 films from Asia-Pacific countries will compete in two categories, 
Russia Asian Film Awards and Vietnam Film Awards. There are also some other awards on offer. During the five-day festival, film lovers in Da Nang will have the opportunity to enjoy 86 free movie screenings at cinemas and three nights of outdoor screenings at Apex Park, and to meet famous domestic and foreign artists and actors. That is the end of our bulletin today. To rewatch this new, you can download BVTV Go or visit our website and YouTube channel. Thanks for staying with us and see you next time. Thank you.